Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really easy Harry Potter themed cake. So first I'm using a big round cake pan. I put two boxes of cake mix in here and baked that. Took almost an hour and it does puff up in the center. So once that comes out, you're gonna take the longest serrated knife you have, lay it alongside of the pan and slice the top off. Then you flip it and put it on a cooling rack and let it completely cool. And I'll put the exact pan I use below and everything else in this video. So then I took my normal buttercream recipe, also linked below, cut it in half and I did one half yellow, one half maroon. I did have the yellow color um, for the gel, but the maroon I didn't have. So what I did is I added a couple drops of blue, a couple drops of red, and you wanna add it when you have the butter in there. You don't wanna wait until you're done with the icing to color it. It took me way too long to learn that tip. Um, and then once you kind of get a color you like, then you just keep adding red to that once you've added a little blue. And then I, you know, got this maroon color and when icing sits over time, it does darken a little as well. So a couple little tips, but yeah, you never want to wait until you made a whole batch of icing to try to dye it, especially if you're doing red or black, cause it will take you so, so, so much icing color to get it the color you want. So I am doing a cake that kind of looks like Harry's scarf. Um, I don't do multi-tiered cakes. I do, don't do fondant. So I just do simple, easy stuff. So I always use a star tip or something similar to it. And I just went around and it's not that even. I did try to do like five rows, but then some of my piping was thicker. So it looked thicker than five rows. You know, I'm not a pro. I just... I just make cakes, try to make them look fancy. So here's the bottom part, or the side of it rather. And the top I did all gray, so I just added a couple drops of black icing color, and then, yeah. So I just went around and tried to make the top look nicer and started out really good, but as you'll see when I'm done here, and the center is a little sloppy, but that's okay because I put a cake topper on top of it. And honestly, what kid actually cares? They just think it's cool that they have a themed cake. I hate the way store-bought cakes taste. I hate the icing. I just hate everything about it. And everyone raves about my cakes. And I even have a friend that hates box cakes. She's like real, you know, food savvy. And I'm like, no, I use box cake mix and you love my cake. So there's that. Um, yeah, always use box cake mix. I don't even, I think I normally use Pillsbury. It doesn't even matter, but I always home make my icing. That way it tastes extra yummy. So once I get done with that, I have it on this fancy little cake turner, which I'll also link below. Makes it a lot easier. You can see the center is a little bit like thicker and sloppy. It's whatever. I have this little happy birthday cake topper. I found it on Amazon. I think it was like seven bucks. Has a little witch's hat and a lightning bolt. So I stuck that in the middle. I also made chocolate frogs. Also had the mold and, you know, bought the chocolates from Amazon. Super easy. And that always looks really fancy. And it's like the easiest thing in the world to do. So I just lined the cake with the frogs. And then I also made these little owl cupcakes, which I'll have a separate video on how I did that. But very cute, kind of like subtle little Harry Potter theme. And here's what the table looked like. Sorry, it's a little shaky. But yeah, I always make like a little center dessert table and then plates and napkins and the tablecloth I got from Party City. And I have my Charmed Aroma Harry Potter candle in the middle burning. So yeah, turned out really cute. So that's how I made it. If you want to see my party playlist, I'll link it below. Every year we do something fun for my son and my daughter. And thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.